what is going on guys i'm back with another video and today i am going to be showing you a tutorial on how to add sound fonts onto a xenopixel lightsaber so any lightsaber with a xenopixel board today i'll be using my imperial workshop scavenger hilt that i got from imperial workshop for 160 dollars i feel like there's not a lot of videos out there that show you how to add sound fonts on a xeno board and that's because i feel like most people don't get a Xeno Pixel lightsaber to add sound fonts onto it, uh, but it's always been an option. Xenos aren't as customizable as a Profi would be or a CFX, but still definitely cool to be able to add more on it. Before we get started, you want to make sure that you have an adapter for SD, a micro SD card that, that can plug into your computer to the USB port. There should be one included in every Xeno Pixel saber that you buy. And so then you want to go ahead and unscrew your lightsaber and then you'll see the battery and then you'll see the SD card poking out. First thing you want to do is take out the battery just to make sure that there's, there's no power connected to your saber just in case anything goes wrong you always just want to make sure there's no power you know going to your saber while you take the sd card out once you take the battery out go ahead and get a pair of pliers carefully take out the sd card and then plug the sd card into that adapter i showed you earlier all right so once you put your sd card into your pc it'll pop up with all the files on it right here your saber normally will come with like about 34 fonts as you can see here i have 38 so i've added four on since I've had the Saber. So yeah, it'll show all the folders for every font on your SD card. The font I'll be using today that I will be adding onto my Saber is the Ben Kenobi font from Kyberphonic. If you don't know who Kyberphonic is, he's one of the best Saber font creators out there. I would definitely check his website out. He has tons of fonts you can add. A very big fan of his fonts for sure. So this font is going to be Obi-Wan's from the Kenobi show. I just thought it'd be cool to have that one. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. Once you go ahead and download it and buy the font, put it on your desktop like I did here. Double click on it. And then it'll have multiple folders with different soundboards in it. So it'll have Asteria, CFX, Profi, Verso, and Xenopixel. Obviously today we're gonna be using Xenopixel. So we're gonna go ahead and double click on that. As you can see here, there's tons of files in here. Uh, there's Blaster, Clash, Force, Font, Swing, all that good stuff. This is how your Xeno board is going to read all these files. So what you want to do is, since this will be my 39th font for my Saber, technically, like I said earlier, it comes with 34. So this will be my 39th. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder on my desktop. And I'm going to name it 39. Just like that. Now, Go back to the sound font folder, click on Xenopixel. I want to copy all this, control A, control C, and paste it in the, in the new folder I just made. So now all those files, all the sound font files are in my new folder. Now I'm going to drag that 39 folder onto my SD card. See, it shows up right below 38, right above, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so technically you already have the sound font on your Sabre now. We're almost done. But now what you want to do is you go ahead and double click on set. You go to the config file right here, not config old, but config. I'm going to go ahead and right click on that and click edit. It'll bring you to this script looking thing. You scroll all the way down. It'll show all these numbers for every font that you have. So. I'm gonna go ahead and click right here, enter. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy one of these, any of these right now, doesn't matter which. And then paste it right below 38. And then change the number to 39. Just like that. So what this is, is it's, it's the blade style that goes with every font. All these numbers are the blade styles. Basically the color, the style of the blade, whether it's pulsing, it's just standard or fire blade, you know, stuff like that. So I uh, want to make sure since it's obviously Ben Kenobi, Obi-Wan Kenobi, I want to make sure it's blue. So now after that, I actually have a link here. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the description. It's going to take you to this screen where it shows a bunch of uh, it shows all the sound fonts that come with your Sabre already, actually. Uh, and it's from Imperial Workshop themselves. So basically what I'm going to do is copy one of the blade styles that are on one of these fonts and paste it onto the one I just added. There actually is already a Ben Kenobi sound font on the Imperial Workshop Sabres on the Xeno board, but it's actually not the same font. I 
Honestly, should have picked a different font. That way it's not confusing, but too late for that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm actually going to use the blade style that's used for the Ben Kenobi that comes on it already because that it just makes sense. It's blue and it, it, it's actually pulsing. So it'll have a pulse effect to it, which is kind of cool. So that is the 10th font that comes on it. So I'm going to go back to my script, my config file. All right, 10. I want to copy the numbers that are on the 10th font because that's the Ben Kenobi font, the old one. And I'm going to paste it on 39. Now that font is paired with that blade style. So it's going to be blue. It's going to be pulsing. It's going to be perfect. Go ahead and go click on file and then save. So now your config file is saved. Now you're pretty much done. You are done. We've added the sound font files onto the SD card and then we put the blade style for the font. So now when we ignite it, it's going to be blue, it's going to be pulsing, it's going to be Obi-Wan's font. Perfect. So now what you want to do is you want to eject the SD card. That way uh, no files get corrupted. You, you don't want, you don't just want to unplug it and that's it. You want to make sure you eject it first. So right click on the SD card and click eject. So now once you eject your SD card from your computer, all you want to do is basically what we did in the beginning, just in reverse. Put back your SD card back into your saber, put the battery back in, screw back the bottom of your hilt, and then turn on your lightsaber. Powering on. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go backwards. It's just Ben these days. All right, there's the Kenobi font, the one I just added. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the light and we're going to test this out. Alright guys, well that was pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I do want to mention something though. Before, it was a lot harder to, I wouldn't say harder, but it was a lot more tedious to add sound fonts onto a Xeno. Because before, there was only, it was only made for Profi and CFX and Golden Harvest and stuff. So you would actually have to rename every single file. That way your Xeno board would actually be able to read the font. And I'll actually make a tutorial video on how to do that next, on how to convert a profi or cfx sound font into a xeno but now it's a lot easier creators usually include a xeno pixel version just like hyperphonic did but yeah i just want to point that out um but i will definitely be making a tutorial on how to do that so just in case you, you come across a font and it doesn't have a xeno version it only has a profi or it's only a cfx that way you can put it on your xeno thank you guys so much for watching if you got this far please give a thumbs up subscribe and comment anything you'd like but until next time guys i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you in my next video